Welcome to the Ideas Step 6 module. This step is part of the Intervention Design and Analysis Scorecard tool for creating integrated total worker health interventions. By the end of this module, you will be able to sequence the implementation of specific activities in order of priority, identify essential program personnel who should be involved, develop an implementation schedule, this schedule should set specific milestones for the project and allow you to track the progress of implementation. Provide training or orientation to supervisors and middle management who are somehow impacted by the intervention as needed. Their cooperation and support can be critical to intervention effectiveness and success. Develop a communication plan to inform workers, supervisors, and managers, and celebrate successes and milestones. Before we start, you need to understand that successfully implementing an intervention takes careful planning and management, especially if there are multiple intervention component activities. You'll need to involve the right people, gather input, overcome roadblocks, and track progress. The steering committee is responsible for securing resources and oversight for implementing all activities of the approved interventions. The steering committee may delegate implementation to others, but should monitor implementation success. The implementation process may be iterative and will likely require weeks or months, depending on the number and complexity of the intervention activities. Why is step six important? Think of the implementation process as a journey and the following guidelines as a map during the participatory program. One, implement activities in order of their priority. For example, ask yourself, what are the components of the intervention? Do we need to implement some activities first or last, maybe because of their ease or difficulty in performing? Do we need to pilot test certain activities before implementing them full scale? Are there any organizational initiatives, such as mergers, reorganizations, software changes, or relocation, that would suggest the need to implement specific activities earlier rather than later, or vice versa? These questions may help to expedite the implementation progress. Two, identify key personnel needed in planning and implementing the intervention components. First, de determine staffing and financial resources necessary to implement an intervention, such as, in which department will intervention activities be implemented? Who plays central roles in the intervention activities? Whose approval do we need for activities that require permission? And what is the cost of implementation activities? For example, vendors, equipment, training, personnel time, and existing resources within the organization. Then invite design team members to assist in specific roles, such as participating in planning committees, conducting small pilot tests before implementing activities more broadly, suggesting ways to simplify or streamline the implementation process, and recommending or providing training to help workers successfully adopt new procedures. Three. Create an implementation schedule for each intervention activity using your organization's existing project planning tools, or use the CPH New implementation plan template for interventions. Identify vital stages that would benefit from worker or end user input. Determine ways in which design team members can assist with delivering some of the intervention activities. Decide how to communicate the implementation plan to the design team because they serve as essential supporters and problem solvers as implementation proceeds and should remain well informed throughout the process. Identify how the intervention components interact with other initiatives occurring within the organization or departments and manage and follow through with the implementation schedule and adjust as needed. Four, develop a communication plan for the intervention and the overall participatory program to inform workers, supervisors, and middle and upper managers. Ensure that stakeholders whose jobs or work processes will be most affected are represented on the implementation team and trained as needed. Design team members should serve as key contacts and support in explaining the planned implementation steps and get feedback from the frontline staff to help identify and resolve barriers. Decide how to communicate the implementation plan to managers, supervisors, and the broader workforce. And plan training sessions for supervisors and managers who will need to support the intervention. Five, 
celebrate activities, successes, and milestones in various ways by honoring outstanding effort of individuals at meetings and or events, and by publishing progress updates in your organization's newsletters. The key resources for completing Ideas Step 6 should include the Ideas Step 4 worksheets, refer to these for a complete inventory of intervention activities, intended participants, desired outcomes, and potential obstacles, the planning guide for intervention implementation, the implementation plan template for interventions, use this or an existing project management tool to document tasks, deadlines, and responsible personnel, and the step six training video, plan and implement interventions. You can find these resources on the CPH New Healthy Workplace Participatory Program webpage. In the next video, we'll review ideas step seven, monitor and evaluate intervention. This concludes the Ideas Step 6 training module.